What's going on my fellow reefers? March here, this is Fragbox TV, and today we're going to do a vlog episode. Monday, 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 Monday fun day. This is not Fragbox Corals on Mondays. Every other day of the week, Fragbox. Mondays is a shipping box. Because what we do is we ship a lot. I mean like a lot, a lot, a lot. Don't come here on Mondays. Monday's bad place. Monday, I mean good place, but lots. Look at this. Every one of these is one individual order. It's, it takes takes the, the majority of the day. I don't want to show his address on it there. But. So I'm going, Ottawa, look at that, Ottawa. Nice selection of corals, fish, invertebrates. Oh, what do you know, oh, what's this? Oh, more boxes. Oh, hello. Boxes, boxes, boxes. We need a bigger store. Frag box, lots of box. Hello, Frag box. Hi, um, who's in today? Who's in today? Um, who's in today? March is in, Matt is in, Dylan, Mike, a lot of guys with M names. Is no tea. We got no. The best one out of us all is not here today, unfortunately. You guys always hear me complaining about how small the store is, so I have to squeeze every little square inch. So even something silly, just like this. You see those? That one foot there. Every square inch matters. Had these custom made. Come right to the end. As you can see, pretty packed. A little bit of room there. I'm afraid, unventionally, we may need a bigger store. So I just realized you guys could probably care less about shelving, but it's part of the business and it's actually something I find uh, like a strange satisfaction from, especially when all the shelves line up. And what we're gonna give that spot in the store is more love to, hello, I think you've heard of this little company in the States, these guys are huge, these guys are the best. We do carry a small selection of their most popular products, but I wanna give them more love in the store, so I'm gonna set up this section right here just for Mr. BRS. They're gonna have a more dedicated, almost floor to ceiling section right here next to the Red Sea. Instead of, I feel like we're kinda of half-assing it. Was that a swear? Okay, I need you guys to tell me if ass is a swear. I said it again. And then I'm gonna put, what we're gonna do is start putting um, plugs here. Every time I swear, it's gonna be a frag plug. And when it hits, I don't know, let's say 50 frag plugs, we'll give away a $50 gift card or um, credit. So something will be good coming from me and my potty mouth. But what I was saying before I got sidetracked on swearing is I, won't, I feel like it's not giving them justice. It's kind of like just sandwiched in between all this other fun stuff. So I really, really want to showcase the BRS stuff and I really want to give them some love. And it means a lot when you're like very limited on room when, and like I'm telling you, it's coming down to square inches now where I'm doing custom shelves just to, you know, squeeze in one extra Kessel or one extra Trident, um, it's kind of like, it, it's a big deal for us that they're gonna get all of this, almost top to bottom, so, love you guys. These uh, peppermint shrimp are drunk, look at them. Goodness, who is this? Oh, hello, Chanel, Coco Chanel, Coco, nice bum bum Chanel. Wow, she's beautiful, so soft. You smell Diggs? Where's Diggs? No, Diggs isn't here today. There's no Mr. Diggs. Check out our sold tank over here in the store. This is before and and there it is after. What do you think? A lot sleeker. I'm doing it just because taking the photos, I'm getting this weird white reflection off the back here. So I just needed something to um, help kill some of the glare. I also think it looks a lot sleeker too, no? Does it? I don't know, comment below. Little improvements every day, 1%, just a little bit. Make it cleaner in here. So many of you are not able to visit the store. Half of our viewers are in the United States. Well, I guess you could visit. You can jump on a plane and come see us. Exactly how, I didn't even get your name, this young gentleman. Yeah, Tyler, yeah. Tyler. Tyler's from Vancouver and uh, made an effort to come out here and check us out. So if you're ever in the Toronto area or even close by, come and come see us because we love to meet you guys. And because it's around the holidays and Christmas, you want to pick out like a $40, $50 frag on us? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Oh go ahead. <laughs> that was a nice reaction. Yeah, here. Pick one out. Yeah, man. 
Free coral. What's better than free coral? What are you there's thinking? Two. There's too many, huh? Way too many. I know. I put you on the spot too. Uh, you want a recommendation? You want a March yeah, recommendation? Yeah. What are you keeping in there? I didn't ask. What am I keeping? Right now, people are a lot. A lot of softies, a few euphilias. Mix reef. Uh, yeah, a little mixture. I have you a ever cool tried these? Clove polyps? Clove polyps? I actually do. I have a rainbow clove polyp right now. Like that one? Uh, uh, kind of. Sadly, I sold it to my friends. How about Duncan? You ever tried Duncan? I do. I have a good colony. I think I might go with the clove polyps, though. Can't blasto? Wait. Yeah. Have you tried one? Oh, the blasto? No, yeah. actually. Do a blasto, yeah. Have you tried Acan before? Acan Thestrea? Acans I have, yeah. If you do well with these, this is like its chunky cousin. Very similar. The heads get fat, low light, low flow. Really? No yeah. Alright, I think I'll do one of them. Okay. Perfect. Like, oh, yeah, so yeah. Many. Um, Give them yeah, this one. one two heads. This one's nice. Yeah, it's from Vancouver. Oh, you know how far that is? Okay, so you know what? I'm saying Vancouver, Vancouver. A lot of you don't realize that's on the other side, not of the country. It is the country, the other side of the continent. What's that? 3,000 kilometers? Like far. Yeah. Six yeah. hour flight. It's far. It's not like the kid came from down the street. It's very, very far. That's like if you're Washington, D.C., you're over here in New York. Seattle, all the way on the other side. Very far. Appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah. I appreciate okay. you making the effort to come out. Check out this beautiful coral here. Beautiful. We've been calling this in the store Everyone? Stingray Chalice, even though that is not the scientific name. But look, look at that pattern. Actually, thank you, Fish Pony Boy 12. I think that's your name down there in Florida. He pointed it out. He said that looks like a stingray. He is right. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I see. You guys see anything else? Anything other than the stingray? I guess it could be a mushroom. Clover. Look, like a blue mushroom, no? I don't know, you're reaching that. I, I got a really dirty thought too, but I'm not going to mention that one or it's going to go in the swear jar. Yeah. <laughs> Sting, stingray is good. Yeah, Stingray. Stingray chalice. Going to a great home. Okay. CSS Clover, yeah? Clover? clover? Yeah, yeah. kind of. Blue, blue chalice clover. Special guest Spencer here today. Okay, this guy's setting up a new aquarium. And a question we get a lot is how many pounds of rock per gallon. His seems to be about 60, 70 pounds. And we hit 50 right on the dot. So that's you don't want too much. You don't want too little. Usually... Old rule of thumb is a pound a gallon. I like to go a little bit less than that, three quarters of a pound. It'll give more room for the fish and corals to grow. Yeah, oh, you can do a pound, but a pound a gallon is, is, is quite a bit of uh, a rock for a tank. So you guys hear me make a lot of jokes on the channel and we have fun and I'm kidding around. I'm not kidding when I say these aren't gonna last. It's been uh, seven hours since they went up and the first one is going to his forever home. Very nice pick, not kidding, will not last. If you're kind of on the fence, You've ever been thinking about getting a Crocia? Get over here. Let me see it. So we get a ton of questions here in the store. Like lots of questions. And I never know what the question is going to be. Usually it's like, you know, why is my ACAN not doing well? But our friend here, Philip, called us and said his younger brother, this is a 200 and how, how big? 20. 220 gallon. His younger brother, who is how old? Uh, seven. Seven. Oh, a seven year old threw a marble at the front of the tank and it did this on a two. 20. So he was asking if he thought it would expand or break the tank. In my experience, I think he's okay. It's not cracked, so it's not going to split. It's a chip. I actually did the same thing many, many years ago right here with a piece of live rock coming out of the tank and then silicone it back in. It doesn't look nice. It's not visu uh, visually appealing. I don't think anything's going to happen though. Comment below if you think, but I'm, I'm fairly certain that it's just, it's just sucks and, and his brother's going to lose his marble. Like I said, it ain't going to last. That's two hours and two clamps. So that means by the end of the day, if we continue at that rate, we ain't gonna have any of these beautiful crocias left. Girlfriend of the Year Award is wow, going to our friend you. here. It's <laughs> taking home Dragon Soul Torch. He has no idea, very, very nice. And a gift card on top of that, man. Very, very nice girlfriend. I hope you, I hope you enjoy it, man. You know who you are. This is what Christmas is all about, buying your loved one corals. What a night, girlfriend, wife? Fiance. 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 Look, what, look what she's getting from one of the gold torch. Oh man, these are very, very, very nice. And they came in early, so they're taking advantage of Boxing Day. Boxing Day, Boxing Day, Boxing Day. Very nice piece. Look at you, Diggs. You're just the luckiest dog in the whole world, huh? Everybody love. What are you going to do with it? Huh? It's bigger than you. Finally, finally somebody took it. You know, that's what it took. Get out of here with this crazy price. Congrats on your almost free aquarium. That's great. Read this. Eddie's the best. This is a great idea. Thank you. This is yours. Thank you, sir. Maligayan <laughs> Pasco. Enjoy it, brother. Take it easy. Check out our tape we had to set up here. It was literally so busy today in the store. We had to separate customers from 
employees because it's so hard for us to like move, maneuver through the store. You have to like suck it in and switch and move and uh oh, beep, 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 beep. So imagine with us, just the staff here, it's very hard, it's very narrow. And then you throw in 20, 30 customers. So we came up with this, uh, this little way we kind of have like employee side. So we serve you from here, boom, boom, boom. You want this coral? Oh, you want to take home this one right here? This one that's half off. Actually, all the affiliate were half off because you can see this tank got more or less cleared out. It is really time for another shipment in here. This is how you set up a new reef aquarium right off the bat. No, no expenses spared. Apex, RSK skimmer, RODI, wave pumps, reef dose, hydrolytes. That's a proper, no messing around, Red Sea Reefer 300 setup. So we are, this week's vlog, what we're gonna do Tia is looking for some corals for her mom. She got her mom in the hobby. Actually, I think your mom got her, your mom and she got herself yeah. in the hobby. How? She just decided. I want, Let's do a saltwater tank. And now she loves it, right? She's in love with it. She's in love with it. Yeah, it's so cool. She's completely enamored with the tank. And so Tia's picking out some corals. Is this for Christmas or just for fun or what's the deal here? Uh, her birthday's tomorrow. Birthday's tomorrow. Okay, so she's getting some corals for her birthday. And she I said, got corals for Christmas. She got corals for Christmas, <laughs> corals for birthday. I'm sure a lot of our viewers here on the channel wouldn't mind corals for Christmas and corals for birthday. But I was saying, let's see what how Tia's brain works. Let's record and maybe she'll talk us through the process. I said take her home a bird's nest. And she said no because she doesn't want to go there and take care of the tank. So she's only getting soft coral. Yeah. <laughs> soft coral only, which there's a lot in here. Yeah. yeah. How big is the tank? It's the Innovative Rain 10 gallon. Fusion 10, yeah. actually very nice tank. What are you leaning towards? Um, I'm thinking one of these guys. Clove very polyps, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Why clove polyps? Because they look like little palm trees. Yeah. That's why, that's exactly why. Because they're cute? Because <laughs> they're cute. Yeah, she'll like them. I think so. Somebody asking if we ship to the US. Uh, no, we do not ship to the US. <laughs> we get that phone call every day. At least once a day. Once a day, no, every half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, very often. Actually, something crazy. We actually have to get a 1-800 number now here in the store because the, the volume of calls that we get, not just from the United States, I mean f worldwide, from everywhere because of the channel, um, it's destroying our phone lines and our regular customers here in Toronto can't get through to us sometimes on the phone. We actually have to get uh, a 1-800 number, so that's kind of a cool cool effect of YouTube. Yeah. I'm thinking a Super Saiyan. Yeah, that's nice. And the orange Bam Bam. Oh, where did that one. even come from? I, well, hold on. <laughs> that's one of March's treasures. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. take it, but it, sometimes I'll even go through here and be like, I don't understand where this coral came from. There's so many in here. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I think that's a good. That's a nice birthday present. And I have a bunch of... How about a pinwheel? These are nice. No, I don't like those ones. I like those ones. I, I know. It's a personal preference. YouTubers, don't listen to Tia. That's a very nice soa. <laughs> oh, here, purple monster. Give her one of these. Purple monster? Yeah. These? Yeah. What does it? People eater or something? Uh, sorry, people eater. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Purple people eater. Yeah, Aren't take that mean? one's on me. Take, take one. Okay. Yeah. This is from March to you. Okay. Happy birthday. She'll love it. She loves your orchid dye bag that you gave her. Yeah, that's nice. That's a very nice little little yeah. birthday birthday assortment right there. Yeah. And the guys, we have some stuff from the guys that are going to her, some Borgonians. Nice. I think she's going to be very happy with that. Happy birthday. Wait, wait. What do we do? Fist pump? <laughs> Last week's project of the week. Complete, still gotta get that done, but isn't this so much nicer? The bins, organized. Is it just me? Am I the only one who gets off on being organized? I think I'm OCD. So one of our customers is from Winnipeg, right? Yep. Winnipeg, and they took the time to come visit us, and he is flying home today uh, with this beautiful Crocea clam. Not on your carry-on, you're gonna check it, right? Check it, Going check into bag. a check badge. If you're ever in the Toronto area, you wanna do some coral shopping, you can bring them home with you. Very nice clam. I think one of the nicest out of all the ones we got. Hey, Diggs? Okay, I hope you liked that episode. I know that it was a little bit scattered and all over the place and we weren't following our regular blog criteria. We weren't doing the coral of the week. Ah, maybe I'll pick a quick coral of the week. You want one? Let's do a coral of the week. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because we got completely cleared out on Boxing Day. Have you ever seen our tanks this empty? We're taking this chance to clean the racks actually. Um, if I had to pick a coral of the week from the very few we have left, thank you very much by the way to everyone that came, even this thing uh, that came during Boxing Day, that's our version of Black Friday here in Canada, it was crazy in here, really appreciate 
you guys coming out. And uh, this just means that we can bring in, you know what, another shipment of corals mid-January. It's gonna go to this one here. I'm actually gonna do a dedicated video on this maybe tomorrow. These are some beautiful yumas, a type of mushroom coral. But I'm gonna do a spotlight on this and talk to you a little bit more on how to care for them. They're just spectacular, spectacular, spectacular coral. Really, really nice. I don't have a lot of corals to pick from. I think I would still pick that one even if the, the beds were full. It's, it is really nice and it's been on my video list for quite a while. Talking about videos, we have been slacking a little bit on the videos. As you notice, they aren't coming out every single day. The store has been crazy, and so are these fox face. Also crazy. I'm crazy, the store is crazy, and these fox face, they want to be able to fly and get out of the tank. It's just been really hectic. It's the time of year. We're going to get back on track in the new year, and you can expect a little bit more video frequency, I think, moving forward. If you like the content, you know what to do. Give me one of these and subscribe to the channel. This rock is going to come out. I'll talk to you about that more next time. You know what? We'll wrap it up because that's never my um, my forte. But I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse. I'm going to take all of this whoop, and take it right out of the tank. And I'm going to redo all of that in the new year. Lots of fun projects coming. And, 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 and final thing, our one year Fragbox TV anniversary is coming up. I believe that's January 4th. And I do want to do sort of a giveaway. What is this box? What is this random box sitting here? Giveaway? What? 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 I know you guys get dizzy with that. I'll let you guys go. Thank you very much for watching this vlog episode. And we will see you back here soon. Have a good day. Good evening. Good night. Good afternoon. Wherever you are watching from. Goodbye.